Hotel du Hospital has been working over the last five years to improve its French language services. We have a large Francophone population in Kingston, so in addition to the fact that Canada is a bilingual nation with two official languages, we know that many patients, when they come in for care, feel quite vulnerable, and there's good evidence that patients who may be quite fluent in a second language often uh, really struggle in a situation where there's anxiety or medical terminology to feel comfortable interacting in a second language and actually prefer to have care in their mother tongue. So we've done a number of things over the last few years which really are um, working toward improving uh, quality, permanency and access to French language services at Hotel Du. And they do support our values as well as the principles of patient and family centered care. So we've started by trying to create first of all a very welcoming environment for our francophone patients and families. We have lots of obvious signals. We've got lots of signage that's now bilingual which is not just helpful for people to find their way but also as I say creates that welcoming environment. We've started to create uh, additional materials in French so we've translated some of our patient education material into French including some of the clinical information that can sometimes be so complex in one's own language that we really wanted to make sure that we were providing the option for francophone patients who are being prepared for a colonoscopy for example to be able to choose to have the video information or the patient teaching information in uh, English or French. We've been doing work in the organization to understand the French skills of our staff and uh, where we can. We're trying to recruit people who have French language skills. Uh, nous n'avons pas maintenant beaucoup d'employés qui peuvent donner les services en français ou uh, les services de santé en français, mais nous encourageons tous nos employés qui ont uh, um, uh, l'intérêt et qui peuvent parler en quotidiennement en français d'utiliser um, leur français avec les patients, les familles francophones, francophiles. We're also, uh, we've offered some opportunities for our staff to learn some French language skills. So we've got some really interested staff. We're excited about that. Um, and we've been um, doing lots of visual things to help encourage our Francophone patients to um, engage our staff in, in uh, French conversation where they can. So we've got the um, Je parle français buttons, les macarons qui disent Je parle français. Alors les francophones peuvent demander leur, leur service, les directions, etc. en français. Uh, nous avons beaucoup de bénévoles qui ont francophone, alors nous avons des gens qui peuvent donner les services en français comme bénévoles. Uh, we have lanyards that are in French or that say je parle français, so we're trying to give people the opportunity to identify themselves, people interested and able to have some conversation in French. The other thing that's really important is that we want our francophone patients to let us know that French is their mother tongue so that we can ensure that our patient care system information is correct so that when we run statistics about how many francophone patients come to the hospital per year, that information is accurate. We know we have a long way to go. It will take us a long time before we're able to provide good quality service across the organization in both languages. Um, but as an interim step, one of the things that we're quite excited about is that we've actually, uh, we're moving forward beginning this spring with a new service for language interpretation. In the past, we asked patients to notify us in advance if they were coming in for an appointment and we would arrange to book an interpreter if they required or wished for that service. But that sometimes resulted in a delay in care, particularly if the patient didn't know that they needed to request it in advance. Um, sometimes we struggled to find someone who could provide the service in French. We're moving forward with a new option, which is actually a telephone service, which will be available 24-7, particularly important for patients who come in to our urgent care or our children's urgent care program and who need to have interpretive services without delay. So we will now be able to pick up the phone and um, obtain an, an interpreter to support our francophone patients right away and make sure that we're providing safe, quality care in the language of their choice.